Basalt and granite are the two rock types that account for the majority of oceanic and continental crust within the uppermost lithosphere. These are the granite and basalt samples we're going to use for this lab. Notice the dark colored basalt and light colored granite. These rocks, like all rocks, are comprised of a mixture of minerals that reflect the physical and chemical environment of their formation and history. Basalt forms from a melt and cools at the surface of the earth, mainly along divergent boundaries. It's mainly composed of magnesium and iron-rich silicate minerals. Granite also forms from a melt, but cools deep within the earth, mostly along convergent boundaries. Granite is predominantly composed of clear quartz and whitish feldspars, lacking any heavy metals like iron. In part A of this lab, we will determine the density of these basalt and granite samples as a first step in exploring the role of crustal density and isostasy and global elevation patterns. To determine the density of each sample, we need two pieces of data. First, the sample's mass in grams, and second, its volume in milliliters. To determine the mass, we're going to weigh each sample on a scale. To determine the volume, we're going to use a 1 liter graduated cylinder. You will need to record these data from the video into Table 1 of your lab. Be sure to have your lab and a pencil ready. Okay, so now we're going to measure each sample's weight in grams. I have the unit set on my scale to grams, so we're good to go there. But you may notice that each of our samples has some string tied around it. We're going to use that when we determine uh, each sample's volume. Now, each sample has roughly the same amount of string, and the string's individual weight compared to the overall weight of the rock is pretty small. So for this experiment, we're just going to include the weight of the string in the total weight of the sample. Okay, so starting with basalt sample 1, The weight is 46.0 grams. Basalt sample 2 is 65.9 grams. Basalt sample 3 weighs 128.2 grams. Basalt sample 4 weighs 121.5 grams. Basalt sample 5 weighs 85.2 grams. Basalt sample 6 weighs 133.9 grams. Granite sample 1 weighs 121.7 grams. Granite sample 2 weighs 108.0 grams. Granite sample 3 weighs 114.3 grams. Granite sample 4 weighs 157.8 grams. Granite sample 5 weighs 133.2 grams. Granite sample 6 weighs 108.3 grams. The last piece of data you need to determine the density of your 12 rock samples is their volume. To determine their volume, we're going to use a graduated cylinder with an initial or known volume of water. It turns out that the volume of a sample is proportional to the volume of water that it displaces. So you're going to need two pieces of information here, the initial or volume of water without sample, and the ending or volume of water plus sample. Don't forget to read from the bottom of the meniscus. So for basalt sample one, I'm gonna read the initial and final volume to you. 
but after that you're going to read the volumes um, from the video. The initial volume for basalt sample 1 is 410.25 milliliters. Notice that the bottom of the meniscus falls halfway between 420 and 430 milliliters, making it 425 milliliters. Final volume for basalt sample 1 is 410, 20, 30, 40 milliliters. Initial volume, basalt sample 2. Final volume, basalt sample 2. Initial volume, basalt sample 3. Final volume, basalt sample 3. Initial volume, basalt sample 4. Final volume, basalt sample 4. Initial volume, basalt sample 5. Final volume, basalt sample 5. Initial volume, basalt sample 6. Final volume, basalt sample 6. Notice that the initial volume has gone down. When we first started, the initial volume was 425 milliliters. It's now at 420 milliliters. So it is really important that you get that initial, you actually read the initial volume from the graduated cylinder. Initial volume, granite sample one. Final volume, granite sample one. Initial volume, granite sample two. Final volume, granite sample two. Initial volume, granite sample 3. Final volume, granite sample 3. Initial volume, Granite sample four. Final volume, granite sample four.
initial volume, granite sample five. Final volume, granite sample five. Initial volume, granite sample six. Final volume, granite sample six.